post it on our website as well. Thank you so much, Sam, thank for you, coming Beth. in. And we'll send it inside to Jeff. All right, thank you, Bev. It's a fictional novel based on real life experience. Chai Tea Sunday's Chai Tea Sunday is the story of Nikki Fowler, a young woman who ends up volunteering in Kenya after her marriage crumbles. While the story itself is fiction, elements of it are very real. Author Heather Clark is here. She joins us now. And let me tell you, first of all, this is such an interesting story because Heather, you wrote a book. Yes. Never in a million years thinking it would be published. So That's right. tell me about well, tell me about the story, where it came from and then we'll go from there. Sure. Uh, Chai Tea Sunday, as you mentioned, is the story of Nikki Fowler. She, is an ev she has an everyday life and thinks her whole life is mapped out. And sadly, she goes through a complicated tragedy and her life seems to fall apart. So she decides to accept a volunteer teaching position in Kenya and moves there. And it's really about her journey in Kenya. And it, it really started, I was on maternity leave. Right. Yes, yeah. when, I, when I wrote it. And it was a, a, just a passion project. I was on maternity leave for the second time and needed a me project project, something to do at night when my kids went to bed and didn't think it was actually going to be published. So, and I, I think it's common knowledge that Nikki is based on someone you know. Yes. So you kept uh, getting getting in touch with her for more and more information. That's right. My cousin had just returned from Kenya the first time from volunteering and I was completely captured by her stories and so when she went the second time we agreed to stay in touch and she was going to give me details, descriptions of the things that I needed to put into the book but the most amazing thing happened is that the story itself unfolded while she was in Kenya and I was here and she was there 12,000 kilometers away <laughs> and I was writing it in real time. Um, she was living it and I I was I was writing it and so it was quite an emotional experience okay and as you've told us this was just a project for you to do yes. while you're on maternity leave yes. so you've got this huge word document yes and one of your friends says hey can I read it yes what happens then well when I finished the book one of them asked me to read it and she really liked it and so she encouraged me to share it with others and a friend of a friend of a friend they kept asking to read the book and uh, Ultimately, it landed in the right person's hand, hands at my publisher. That's right, yeah. and uh, and that's when the book. So you've got this little word document with your book going yes. around the internet. Now you're published. Yes, yes, it's thrilling. <laughs> and and so the publisher, you went in and edited the book with her, correct? Once that's they, right. Yeah. We edited okay. the book. Yes. Now proceeds from this, uh, you're giving some of the proceeds to Artbound. That's right. Tell us about that. Artbound is a fantastic charity. They work with Free the Children to provide food and medical supplies and water for kids in developing countries. But moreover, they raise money and go into developing nations and build schools, specifically mm. with a focus on the arts. So they teach kids things like beading so that they can sell the beadwork in markets and provide a sustainable income for them and their families and, and break the cycle of poverty. So a portion of the proceeds from every book sold go to yeah, Artbound. Art yes. Okay, how long was it from the time you finished this till it got to a publisher? I wrote the book in about six months. Yep. Uh, about six months after that it was in the publisher's office right. and it took about a year to edit it. And what was your reaction when the publisher contacted you? Did you know they had the book? I knew that it had been there, but it had been about three and a half months since I had heard from them. Right. And um, so I was thrilled to go in and, and talk to them. Okay, and the other thing I think people would be interested in knowing is, okay, you've written this book on your mat leave, friend of a friend of a friend, gets it to a publisher, they say let's publish it, and you sign a how many book deal? A two book deal. A two book deal. <laughs> I mean, yeah. really? <laughs> Thank so you. So now you're an author. Uh, now I'm an author, thank but, you. Uh, and uh, it's 2014 for the next book. Yes. Okay, but I already know not to ask you what it's about. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yes. when you find out, you'll tell me, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's right. That's Heather, right. congratulations on this. It's such thank a great you so story. Much. All right. Thanks thank for you very me. much. All right, coming up next on Canada AM, Oscar winner Aaron Sorkin's next film challenge, telling job story. He talks Ben Mulrooney has more.